Uh, my heart goes out to all the families. I, I wouldn't want my family going through the same. We're a wonderful community. Our goal is not to pass judgment upon people for what they choose to do with their lives, whether it is to be a bodybuilder, a strongman, a powerlifter, a crossfitter, uh, Ironman, whatever it may be. We're here to support each other because we're all about becoming better and becoming parts of this industry to inspire people to do a good job in their life and become better people. Not just in fitness either, but in all aspects. Because we all know that whenever we do better in the gym, whenever we're excelling personally, we're better people. It's our job to reach out to each other to make sure that we're all okay. Make sure that we're doing a good job. What's up everybody? Your favorite, Seth Ferrosi here for another video. This one's going to be a little more intense, as you can already tell from the title of the video. Steroids, drugs, and death. If you guys haven't seen my series on steroids, drugs, and life, I suggest that you go watch it. Uh, the subject matter that we're going to cover is going to be intense, and we all know why. Uh, but before we do that, make sure that you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Um, however long this video is, I'm not sure yet. We're just sitting down to talk about everything. But I'm probably going to say some things that are going to make everybody really uncomfortable. Because this is a very uncomfortable subject. About five years ago, whenever I filmed Steroids, Drugs, and Life, well, it, it caught on fire. It sent shockwaves through the industry. Uh, it was the first IFBB pro bodybuilder to talk about steroids and how intense everything is. Um, and recently, you know, with my health scares, I've had a number of them when I competed. I had a number of them recently within the past year and a half. Um, and I'm going to talk about it because over the past five, six months, we've seen more bodybuilders die in this short period of time than, than before, ever before. And y'all motherfuckers need to pay attention, listen up, and understand that death don't give a fuck who you are. Death doesn't care if you're the father of three. Death doesn't care if you're an upstanding young gentleman. Death does not give a flying fuck. This, is, this shit is not a joke. Uh, a lot of people make excuses. A lot of people uh, use too many things as crutches or excuses or... Oh, it could have been this or it could have been that. This lifestyle that we lead as bodybuilders is not for the faint of heart. I've said it in all my videos. All my videos about this subject. This is a personal decision that we all make. Nobody made me do the shit that I did except me. So it's no one's responsibility. And no one else is accountable except me. For the things that I've chose to do. Like I was saying... Death don't fucking care. <clears throat> I recently quit taking high amounts of steroids. I'm on TRT. I go to the doctors. I had really good people in my life, like Dr. Prisk, uh, when I tore my tricep, telling me to cut the fucking shit. The conversation was intense. Um, the past year and a half has been mentally brutal on me uh, because it's uh, going through uh, changes of identity. Because for 20, almost 20 years, been geared out, fucking sauced and stiff dick in the fucking day. We all love the feeling. But having someone like Dr. Pris tell me to cut the shit and ask me what's important in my life and what I'm actually getting from it. And someone that genuinely cared. Because, like I said, death don't fucking care. Death does not care. It, it doesn't care whether you're a five-year-old girl that just came down with a terminal, terminal cancer. It doesn't care that you're 16 years old, just got your driver's license. Shit in life happens, and it is gut-wrenching, brutal, and ugly. It doesn't care that you're an icon in this industry that has done nothing but phenomenal things like John Meadows. The man is literally a gift to our industry. And a beautiful man at home with his family. It doesn't care. That's what everybody needs to realize. I have three children. Three children, beautiful children. I have a great life. I have a company with my business partners and 48 fucking employees that are just wonderful people that work their balls off for me. Us. There are great things in this world that will continue to move without me. 
just like all these people that have passed away, all these people that have passed away, we sit here and talk about it, and it's just horrible. It hurts, but we continue to move on with our life. The industry continues to run. The world continues to turn. Everybody who passes that we are not directly, closely related with, our world continues to turn. These videos catch fire for an instant, and then they're forgotten about. That's the fucking way it is, and it is rough. Life is ruthless, and death is even more so. But the people that are in your immediate life, the people that are in my immediate life, like my son that you could probably hear over this in the gym right now with Hannah. They train every morning together. He's over there with her laughing, giggling, having a blast. The children of these people, the significant others, the people that are incredibly close with the people that have passed, those are the people that suffer the most. Those are the people that their lives aren't going to be the same. Whenever we're sitting here having this conversation and everybody knows me from Instagram, YouTube, and everybody knows all these wonderful people that have passed away that have done incredible things in our industry and have inspired us to do great things and build ourselves up and feel good, we continue to move on. But what about them? And they're the ones paying the ultimate sacrifice. They're the ones paying the most. Now this is a double-edged sword. It is. Because if I didn't do the crazy shit in my life, and I'm speaking, and I keep bringing myself into this because I lived it. I was one wild motherfucker, dude. I loved it. There's no feeling out there. Like taking 1,500 megs of test, 600 megs of fucking trend, 100 megs of anadrol a day, 10 I use a growth a day, fucking stiff dick in it. It's wild. It is what, I mean, I love it. It's a Superman drug. I'm into them. That's where my personality meets. I feel alive. Alive. Unstoppable. Unbreakable. Bitch, you ain't fucking beating me. That's the feeling. And when I say it's a double-edged sword, because now on the other side, my mentality for life has changed because I can't do that because it will fucking kill me. It will. That will kill me. That's why I stopped. That's why I go to the doctors. That is what makes us all feel alive. So in a, in a mentality is, is I'd, rather, I'd rather live my life than not be alive walking around. That's tough. Because if people can't build and move on in their life, then they're stuck in that mentality. <clears throat> and I think some people get stuck in that mentality because this is all they have. And, and, that, and that's tough. Young men out there, this is all a personal decision for you. And I'm going to tell you, steroids will fuck you up. Just like any drug. Any drug out there is designed for you to like it. It's going to meet with your personality, cup your balls, and hold on to them. Steroids are not a joke. This is a personal life decision that everybody has to make. Just like I've stated in all the other fucking videos. All of them. Personal decision. I'm not your dad. I'm not your best friend. I'm the motherfucker that's already lived through it. I've done enough wild shit in my life to know what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do. However, still to this day, even though I know it, I still do this wild shit. Knowingly. You get it. I still have bad habits. I'm still a human being. But, again, death don't give a fuck. Death don't give a fuck how nice of a person you are. Death don't give a fuck how many kids you got. Death don't give a fuck if you're 37, 56, 24. Don't give a fuck. All I know is that if you are not real with yourself and understand that this shit will fuck you up, then you're going to pay the ultimate sacrifice. It's tragic. This is. And uh, everybody... That's going to bring up something about underlying health conditions, what's going on in society today. 
eight and six thousand calories a day, doing minimal cardio, and taking fucking six grams of gear a week. That's your underlying health condition. It's a direct correlation back to you having problems. I know that. Yes, that's a that's a given fucking fact. Stop lying. Stop making excuses. This is real. Go to a good TRT clinic. Find a good doctor. Get with good people that can help you. I mean, for God's sakes, me saying that I'm 50% vegan, 25% CrossFitter, 25% natural, that's a joke. I'm joking, but in a way, that's really what I am. Why? Because it's good for my health. Because I want to fucking stay alive. And that's the real truth. Because now you all see motherfuckers are dying. Good, hardworking, incredible people dying. I don't want to fucking be one of them. People can say I'm still sauced out of my mind. All that bullshit. That's fine. You want to see me fucking sauced out? Go look at old videos. That's me sauced out. I don't want to die. It's up to you. You can choose what you want to do. You can be on some... If you are still taking gear, if you're going to continue to do it, I don't give a fuck. I ain't going to pass judgment. I don't care. But get your shit checked. Go get your blood work done. Whenever there's problems occurring, you address them. My bad blood work, high hematocrit, high hemoglobin, high resting heart rate, high blood pressure, directly correlated to health problems. If I do not change how I live my life or try to mask it with, oh, I'm going to take blood pressure medication to get my blood, my blood pressure down, you're a fucking asshole. So, I have to change my lifestyle. Do I want to? No, not really. I loved it. But I had to. Because I like them more. Don't be an idiot. You have an issue. Address it. Move on. You can correct these. There are tons of great people out there. Dr. Prisk, help me. He's the one that's at me down. Aspire Rejuvenation, HRT clinic that I work with, tremendous people, quality, care about people, very knowledgeable with bodybuilders, know exactly like the lifestyle, understand what we do, our mentalities, everything. Like I said, I joke about being 50% vegan, CrossFit, everybody's like, you fucking pussy, you fucking CrossFit, douchebag. Go ahead, just keep bringing it on, keep bringing it on, that's fine. I want to make sure I stay alive. I'm not you and you're not me. It's okay. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and, and helping you guys understand that these are realities of the situation. It's real. It's like Greg Doucette, motherfucker. He's 100% cycler now. He cycles. He rides that fucking stationary bike like a champ. Why? Because it's good for him. It challenges him. We all have to move on in life at some point because if we just continue to get stuck in our ways of this lifestyle, it will fucking kill you. It's not a joke. It don't matter if you're a swell guy, if you're a nice guy, if you're a humble, hardworking man. It don't care. Life, death don't give a fuck. And the sad part about it is, a month after you die, we're just gonna have we're just gonna have stories. It's all it'll be. If you're famous, there'll be posts. Be videos, it'll be stories. If you're not famous, ain't nobody gonna give a fuck except your kids, your wife, your husband, whatever it may be. That's it. And don't you dare blame the industry. Don't do that either. It ain't the industry's fault. It's your fault. You take responsibility for your actions. Everybody out there is saying, oh, the industry should change it. The industry should change it. It's up to us. We do with what we want with our lives. The industry didn't make me do this. I decided to do it. Motherfucker, you can stay in Classic if you want. You can go to 212. You can go to the Open. You can do whatever you want. That's part of life. It's your choice. But don't blame the industry in saying they should do differently with it. Oh, they should? They're the reason that we have this industry. They created this. They've created different opportunities for everybody to do it. It's up to you. They didn't make me do shit. My coaches didn't make me do shit. I'm the one that was fucking sticking myself. Don't make excuses.
Don't do it. It, it, it. I fucking hate hearing about people say, well, they should change the judging. They should change the judging? There's, this is an industry, this is a sport with no rules. That's why we all loved it. They're not just going to change the judging. Stop awarding people that are fucking huge. <laughs> Bro, that's the name of the game. It's up to us what we want to do. But I get where you're coming from. It's not that I don't understand. It's not that I don't understand. I'm very open-minded. I see it. I know. Do I agree? Sure. I don't think some of these guys that are fucking insanely massive uh, are, are the best-looking bodybuilders. Are some of them the hardest workers? Fuck yeah, dude. They're animals. That's why we love this. They're fucking... They're, they're... That's why we loved it, because they're freaks. Take accountability for your actions. It's all on you. You don't want to do it, don't do it. But understand that if you don't take care of yourself, these things will happen. It's a guarantee. 100% guaranteed. A lot of the guys, I mean, I've talked to a number of bodybuilders. You know, like I brought up uh, Greg. Look at Jason, Nick Tregeli, um, I guess Jason Ha. Huh? All these people of my bodybuilding era are moving on. They're understanding that they can't, we, we can't be sauced out like we were because we've all been to the doctors and the doc, and the, and the word came back, get your shit together. My heart goes out to every family that lost, that loses people every day. This is our community and it hits us hard with all the bodybuilders. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be one of them. I don't. I don't want to hear about more of them. Uh, I don't, I couldn't imagine my kids growing up without a dad. I, it wouldn't be fun. I wouldn't be here to see it. It'd be on them. Young men take this shit serious. Everyone take this shit serious. Take it serious. Because the lifestyle is what's doing it. It's the lifestyle. And we're all attracted to it. We love it. I love it. I still do my whiteboard workouts five days a week. I still do my, my hit sessions two to three days a week. I do some sort of cardio every single day. I eat 50% vegan. I eat one red meat meal a week because I don't want to be in the news for that. You ain't coming back. You guys ain't coming back. Very, very real. Everybody take care of yourselves. Go back and watch some of my other videos. Uh, I shot this from the hip with all emotions and, uh, and how I felt. I've been doing a lot of thinking in my head all weekend about it all. Uh, my heart goes out to all the families. I, I wouldn't want my family going through the same. We're a wonderful community. Our goal is not to pass judgment upon people for what they choose to do with their lives, whether it is to be a bodybuilder, a strongman, a powerlifter, a crossfitter, uh, Ironman, whatever it may be. We're here to support each other because we're all about becoming better and becoming parts of this industry to inspire people to do a good job in their life and become better people. Not just in fitness either, but in all aspects. Because we all know that whenever we do better in the gym, whenever we're excelling personally, we're better people. It's our job to reach out to each other to make sure that we're all okay. Make sure that we're doing a good job. Make sure that we're feeling good. And if you have problems, other professional bodybuilders out there that just watched this video, hit me up. Don't be afraid. If you got something to say, say it. I ain't going to pass judgment on you. That's our goal in life is to make sure that we, that should be our goal in life, not to pass judgment upon people. Help be a good motherfucker. Being a good motherfucker is important in life. Stick together, everybody. Like I said, throw some comments, subscribe, like, share the fucking video. Not a joke. Have a good day. Love y'all.